Hello and welcome to the physics topic, Forces 2, Lesson 1, Forces and Energy. We are going to take a look at forces and the role of energy transfer in moving objects alongside forces. So take a little look at this picture um, and have a think about what's happening. What can you see? Try and link it to forces and what effect they may be having on uh, the horse or the cart. Right, what I want you to think about um, is what what I want you to think about is um, how an object moves. So if a force or when a force is acting on an object, that object will move. You apply the force to the object then energy is required to make that object move, but it will move a specific distance, okay? And that can be calculated as well. So we're able to calculate how much energy is transferred during the process of actually moving the object with the force applied. And it's very simple to work out. We've got a formula triangle here for you with the three letters representing the different areas we're gonna use. So F representing force, E representing energy transferred and D representing distance. And in this case, um, the energy transferred is equals to the force multiplied by the distance. Now, as with all formula triangles, you can rewrite them so that no matter which bits of which two pieces of information you are given, you can calculate the third. But we'll look at first as an example. So the horse, um, a horse is pulling a cart for seven metres over a bumpy track. The horse pulls with a force of 625 newtons. How much energy has been transferred? So we know that we're going to use the equation energy transferred equals force times distance. So in this case, we're going to take the 625 newtons and multiply them by seven. The answer very, is very straightforward. You can tap that into the calculator and you will get 4,375. What you need to remember is that the energy transferred is measured in joules. It can be measured in kilojoules as well, but we'll, we're not gonna worry about the conversion of the units at this point. Um, but there's your straightforward example. Give you another example. A uh, force of 20 newtons moves a large chair over a three metre distance. And again, they want you to calculate how much energy has been transferred. So again, energy transferred equals force multiplied by distance. You've got the force is 20 newtons and the distance is three. So you're going to do 20 times three. You should remember from the previous example that the units for energy transfer are joules. So 20 times 3 is equal to 60 joules. Now, slightly different, just showing you how this time you can calculate the force that's been applied. So example here is 1,350 joules of energy has been transferred to move a car over a distance of 75 metres. You're being asked to calculate how much force has been applied. And it says, remember, to include the units. So you, need, you may need to look back on the previous slide, but you need to remember that the units for force are newtons. Now, covering up the F on your formula triangle that tells you it's E over D, which means the force is equal to the energy transferred divided by the distance. So in this case, in this example, 1,350 joules, which was the energy transfer divided by 75 meters. So the force applied to move that car, that distance is equal to 18 newtons. That's just a, a different example of how to use the formulae triangle in another way. Um, you can you will be given all sorts of different scenarios for calculating this energy these energy transfers. 